everybody and welcome back to Art a la carte and another video on the YouTube Artist Collective. So the theme that was chosen this time was Zodiac. And while I'm sure this inspires a ton of ideas in a lot of people, I have to tell you the truth, I'm not even 100% positive what my Zodiac sign is. I think it's the scales. I don't know if it's called the scales, but I think that's what it is. I don't know a lot about the Zodiac, so the theme was definitely a challenge for me. Until I came up with this idea that since the theme is Zodiac, I could base this off of the Chinese Zodiac. Some of you may know that I have in the past gone to visit China a couple of times. So the culture and tradition of China is so beautiful that I wanted to try and incorporate that into my piece. So the first thing I did was come up with a really rough thumbnail sketch. How I wanted everything to look and a little bit of the color layout. Once I got that thumbnail kind of nailed down, then I began to sketch the actual piece out onto some watercolor paper that I had. Now I'm using a red cool erase color pencil to do the actual sketching. After I got the basic sketch in, then I went in with my Copic multiliner and began to meticulously ink everything in. This is like the scary part when you take it from the sketch that you really, really like, and then you begin to finalize everything. And sometimes I find in this stage that you can lose some of some of that feeling or life that you have in an original sketch. When you try to ink it in, it just loses something. So I really took my time at this part. Once the line work is done, now it's time to add in the color. I like to work with several different types of art, not just one. So in this one, I, I think I threw almost everything that I had into this piece. So I started off with watercolor for the base, then went in with my color pencils for shadows and highlights, and then went in with my ink tint color pencils that I just purchased and began to really get some vibrant colors in those. And if you don't know what ink tenses are, I have a video where I talk about them and I'll link that at the end of this video so you can check that out. Also, I'll just go ahead and put everything that I've used to create this picture in the description box of this video so you can jump over and check out a little bit more information on that. This video is obviously super sped up. I spent about two to three days working on this piece. I wasn't able to do like my full day work just because um, we got hit with this heat wave here on the Oregon coast and it was the hottest that it has ever been in years here. I talk about this sometimes in my videos that my studio is in an attic, so when it gets really hot, my studio turns into this like deathly sauna. Well, on those days that it turns really uncomfortable, it's in the upper 70s outside. We got into the 90s here. So you can imagine that my studio was, I was not able to even enter it hardly. It was so hot. It's still hot in here. It is 10 o'clock at night while I'm voicing this and my studio is still like stiflingly hot. I have the windows closed because for some reason at 10 o'clock at night, everyone thinks they want to drive down my road. So if I have the window open, you would hear trucks and motorcycles going past because I guess that's what you do at 10 o'clock at night. Now, normally, even if it's really hot out, I could take my art supplies and go someplace else and do art. But because I had to record this, that adds a little bit more of a challenge to move all of my recording stuff to make sure the lighting is good. So yeah, I just tried to work on this late into the evening. So I spent a lot of late, late nights working on these pieces. So before I talk about the inspiration or kind of what this piece is about, let me tell you a little bit about the YouTube Artist Collective. So it is a group of artists. I think there's 14 or 15 of us, and I'll have a link to all of their videos in the description box of this video, plus a playlist if you want to go and watch all of their videos, like binge watch YouTube Artist Collectives. And there will also be a link to our Facebook page, which is really important because we have the YouTube Artist Collective every two to three months, and the theme is actually chosen by you guys. So Make sure that you follow us on Facebook so that you don't miss out on the chance to vote for the next theme. Now I get a lot of people asking, can anyone do the YouTube Artist Collective or is it just this secret group of people? And of course, you guys can totally do this theme as well. I would love to see your artwork with it. So you definitely don't have to be a part of the official YouTube Artist Collective to do a YouTube Artist Collective piece. And if you make a video on this, make sure to send me a link to that because I love watching your guys' videos with these themes and I've gotten to discover a lot of new artists this way. I would love to check out your artwork. So try your hand at creating this theme or even one of the past themes. There's been some really fun ones. 
thoughts and ideas for how I came up with this piece. So the first step was to do a ton of research and plan out my character's design and the costuming and all of that. I wanted some elements that would help represent the Chinese New Year with some really popular colors is red and gold as well as peach blossoms. And you'll see that there's a little sprig of peach blossoms in her hair. And then I added some also on the sleeves to her robe. There's kind of a peach blossom pattern, which is quite similar to cherry blossom, but they are peach blossoms. So to represent the Chinese zodiacs, I have these little charms hanging down from her umbrella. So there's 12 charms, each charm representing one of the years. I do know that I am in fact the year of the snake, which when I found out I was the year of the snake, I wasn't overly excited about that, but you know, what are you going to do? Towards the end of this piece, I was really thinking something was missing. It just wasn't as dynamic as I was wanting it. That's one thing about traditional art that's a little bit tricky is there's no edit undo. So I had an idea, but I wouldn't know if it would work unless I saw it, but I couldn't see it unless I did it. And if I did it and didn't like it, there was no undoing it. So I scanned it back into my computer and played around with it. So the question that I had was, do I make the window screen behind her darker to pop her out? Or do I make the background around her dark? So I played around with both of those on the computer. I didn't record that part, but in the end, I decided I really liked the background to be really dark. It made it look like light was coming through the actual window. And I just like the overall tone of it. It just really narrowed in the focus to the piece. Now, the fun thing about all the YouTube Artist Collective pieces is they are up for sales. And for some of the YouTube Artist Collective artists, this is the only time you can purchase an original piece of artwork. So I highly recommend that you go and check out all the artists. And again, I will have a playlist at the end of this video, as well as having direct links in the description of this video. So check that out. This original piece is up for sale as well. So have fun visiting the other artists. If you're visiting from someone else's channel, welcome to Art Alec Art. I post three new videos each week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so they don't miss out on any future videos. And if you want to make sure that you never miss out on any of my videos, make sure to hit that notification bell and YouTube will hopefully let you know every time I upload a video. So once again, thank you guys for hanging out with me. God bless you guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.